Hey everyone, it's the Eclectic Candyman here today with this small, random Milwaukee tool, haul, grab, whatever you want to call it. Let's check out these tools. All right, so what do I have in the lineup here today from Milwaukee? I have an insulated screwdriver set, some tools for the deck, and a tool pouch that is not Milwaukee. I'm going to explain why I ended up getting that. Let's start with this three-piece insulated, 1,000-volt insulated screwdriver set from Milwaukee, part number 4822-2202. I did get these from the Home Depot. I am not a professional electrician. I'm nothing more than a weekend warrior. So honestly, I don't really need an insulated set of screwdrivers because I always go to the fuse box in the house and turn off any outlet or anything that I'm doing, like an upgrade or working on a switch or a lamp or whatever. I never work with it live. These technically allow one to do that. But the real reason that I went after this is because of this one right here. And also, this wasn't a huge investment. It was about 20, 20 to $25, depending on the sale and whatnot. This is what's known as an ECX head. Now, it's a little difficult to see, but you see how it kind of looks like a Phillips head? But that's not actually a Phillips head. It's specially designed for an outlet screw. So if you look right here, this screw on these terminals, listen, I've been using Phillips head for years and you may have as well, and they work just fine. But it's nice to have the right tool for the job. And technically, this number one ECX that comes in this kit is exactly for that purpose and perfectly fitting. So I like it. And then along with it comes, uh, we've got a, a uh, slotted and a Phillips head insulated screwdriver as well. We've got a number two Phillips and a quarter inch slotted. So not a heavy investment. Now listen, this comes in a three piece, a four piece, and a 10 piece set, the three piece 2025. Four piece comes with a pouch made by Milwaukee that's really slick. I like it a lot. That's the one I was gonna get, but guess what? It doesn't come with this one, which I can't believe. So you actually get a better set, but you don't get this ECX screwdriver right here. Uh, so what you end up having to do is buy this separately. Last I had checked, this was on back order alone and it was pretty expensive. And then if you go up to the 10 piece set, you're getting into $140 to $200 investment, which also does come with the roll pouch. So what's my answer? I need a basic insulated screwdriver set for doing light electrical. Go to Amazon, get a red pouch, and have the best of both worlds. So I got this one. I'll leave a link in the description. It is a uh, $10 tool pouch. And I'll tell you why this is really nice because since, uh, you know, the last few years doing a lot of work inside the house, I have like one of these craftsman bags that I just throw all my tools into it. And every time I'm looking for a screwdriver, Murphy's Law says it'll be all the way at the bottom in the last one that I dig out. So I figured I could put, you know, those insulated screwdrivers in here since I don't have the Milwaukee pouch and I can put my other screwdrivers and a few tools as well. Small investment. So boom, I get the set that I want with the screwdriver and I get this nice pouch. So that will go inside of there. Very nice. All right, next up, we got these two cat's paw by Milwaukee. I'm going to tell you something right now. If you are a homeowner with a deck and you have any sort of uh, wood decking that has nails in it, I cannot stress enough how much I have enjoyed and how productive my favorite tool is, which I'll leave a link to where I use it, but it's right up here on the toolbox. This one right here, which is the 10 inch cat's paw you can see it's gotten quite a bit of use and so this one has been worth its weight in gold when it comes to tools that expression definitely fits this 10 inch cat's paw this is the most common one you will find at home depot on the shelf you can walk into a home depot this will almost always be there unless for some odd reason it's out of stock there are however two other sizes there is the nine inch which is part number four eight two two nine zero three zero and there is the larger 12 inch, which is part number 48229032. You can actually get all three as a set and tell you what, in hindsight, if I had gone back, I just would have done that. I would have ordered it from Home Depot and just gotten all three. This one on its own 
honestly, probably 95% of the work. But sometimes it's nice to have a smaller one. I got some work upcoming on some joist hangers that I want to replace. They have some very small nail heads. I'm probably going to bust that out. And sometimes you got a bigger nail. I either get a pry bar, but the nicer, larger 12 inch uh, cat's paw is pretty helpful as well. Just to recall all the functions that it have on here. So these have the dimple. So if you put it on, say the wood, you can hammer on top of it. That will expose the nail better. And then you can either get at it from an angle, hitting it, and it'll dig in, and then you can pry it out, or you can come in from this side if it's a little bit more shallow. Really, really nice tool. Any professional probably has a huge assortment, but when you're talking a homeowner, this is a fantastic set. So the original one I bought, I think, was like $17 or $18. This one was like $15 or $16, give or take a dollar or two, and this was like $22. Actually, this may have been closer to $20. I did get these on sale online. They were a couple of dollars off, so I think net for the whole set, I'm in like the $40 to $65 range. I don't remember what deals and such, but if you get the whole set, this will last so long. I have used this thing hundreds of times already. It, it's, you know, dirty, obviously, but other than that, it's a fantastic tool. And, you know, just a little nod for the Craftsman fans on my channel, including myself. Why didn't I get any of this in Craftsman? Just because currently Craftsman doesn't have these tools. There, I believe they do have an old cat's paw, but Milwaukee currently with this setup is just fantastic, I, albeit I'll say superior. And then... Insulated screwdrivers is just not a thing that, you know, I've seen um, commonplace by the new Stanley Black & Decker Craftsman series. So, hey, it's still red. That's a joke. Uh, so, you know, it looks like the Craftsman tools, but I'm not so dedicated that I will only ever always just buy one tool brand. But I, And I'm also, you know, there's some people that will only buy Milwaukee and swear by Milwaukee power tools and only use that. But um, I could go back and forth. Milwaukee is kind of the fill-in when there's a tool I can't get, but so far in the, the minimal amount between the precision screwdrivers and these, especially that one, I've been really happy. So anyway, got this set up, basic array of random Milwaukee tools that I picked up here and wanted to share them with you all. Hope you found this useful. Smash the thumbs up, subscribe if you like the content, make sure to check out the other videos on the channel. And until next time, this is the Eclectic Candyman. We'll see you later.